I look at Deshaun Watson as being somebody who's capable of doing anything that we've seen anybody else do. I know that Deshaun Watson can run with the football. The difference is he's a considerably better passer than Lamar Jackson. He's complete 70% of his passes. He's got 18 touchdowns and five interceptions on the season. Deshaun Watson is a winner. The brother is special. I'm not taking anything away from Lamar Jackson because I'm so proud of him and how he has looked and how much he has improved. Uh, the coaching of John Harbaugh is to be recognized in all of this as well, who I consider to be better than Bill O'Brien, by the way. But Deshaun Watson and is that it. dude. I believe, and, I, and I've been on the record, Max, as saying to you, if you recall, I think he's the lone individual that has the potential to be just as good as Patrick Mahomes. You made I think the point Deshaun right Watson there. is the that difference. legit. The that difference real. is the difference is the coach. I think Lamar Jackson has a better chance. I think that Patrick Mahomes is probably more likely than anybody, but Lamar Jackson has a better chance becoming the face of the league because he is still very young. He can improve at passing, but you become the face face of the league when everybody's watching, when there's no other games on TV but a few. And Lamar Jackson, those that's the playoffs. And Lamar Jackson, in my mind, because of that coaching staff and that well-built organization, is more likely to have success in the playoffs. I know things fell apart for them in the playoffs last year, but he is more likely, because I believe in Harbaugh and that staff, for him to have continued success and to be in the playoffs year after year and maybe win a couple games and potentially make it to a championship game. And that's when you become the face of the league. You don't become the face of the league in the regular season. Although plays like this will be memorable and we'll love it and we'll talk about both of them making electrifying plays. But I think the difference is Lamar Jackson and the Ravens are set up for long-term success in the playoffs in the way that I don't believe that Deshaun Watson is. And if he does have success in the playoffs, it'll be all because of him, and he deserves all of that credit because I think Bill O'Brien will, frankly, Bill O'Brien head coach slash GM is letting them down for the long-term future of this organization and that player. And that's why, while both of them, it's going to be a hard chance for them to get there, Lamar Jackson is the better chance of being face of the league because he'll be playing uh, like in, the deep into point. December. I like the coach's point, although Bill O'Brien, like I was killing him too a couple of years ago early in the year, but I think it's kind of hard to be killing him now, six and three, and after the way they finished up. And a lot of that, of course, is Deshaun Watson, which is why the answer is, in fact, Deshaun Watson. You know, remember when it was, who's the face going to be the face of the league, Dak or Wentz? We're not talking about that. Or maybe throw Goff in. We're not talking about that anymore. Is it going to be Watson or Lamar Jackson? The answer is Patrick Mahomes, yeah. just in case anyone wants. But let's take Mahomes out of this. Don't ever bet against Deshaun Watson. And I thought that since the loss to Alabama in the national title game because I saw the best player on the field by far, the guy I'm like, that guy, the guy who made it a competitive game, in fact, in spite of the fact he's on the worst team, was Deshaun Watson. Then he had that experience. That's why I picked him to win in the rematch. Because, whoa, whoa, now he's experienced, and you have Deshaun Watson by hook or by crook. He's going to find a way to get it done he is the truth it's why Dabo said about him he's the Mike he's going to be the Michael Jordan of the NFL even though again I think that's Mahomes but I know what he means you know who I like I, I've, I've mentioned about Dak Prescott he reminds me of um, Russell Wilson and Tom Brady game managers big on third down who could, it could kind of be a self-fulfilling prophecy over time they could get more responsibility and become a Hall mm -hmm. of Fame quarterback you know who Deshaun Watson reminds me of in the way he has that magic pixie dust late in games and stuff, Joe Montana. <laughs> Joe Montana was a guy. He wasn't the most skillful guy in the league. He didn't have the best arm. He was playing for a great coach, Dominique. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna I keep it. making I my it. point. <laughs> I get it. Walsh was, was, was the Belichick of his era. I get that. But there was something about – and Steve Young was my favorite quarterback maybe ever, and yet there was something about Montana. He's still not out of that GOAT that, conversation. Yeah. And Deshaun Watson has that Joe Montana stuff. Oh, it's your show, sir. Go, ahead, go right ahead. I will tell you this, and I want y'all – and I'm throwing this out there just as an opinion, but I'm not sure about it. I wanted to share it with both of y'all and get y'all feeling about this. When you remember, if you recall earlier this season when a reporter asked Deshaun Watson that question and he just broke down what the play was, what the play was supposed to be, who you were supposed to be targeting, <laughs> what your audibles entailed, where you, he was just breaking this down. One of the reasons I thought about that was because as great as Deshaun Watson is as a talent, Dabo Sweeney never failed to remind me personally of how smart this dude is and how much of a natural, bona fide quarterback he is. Right. When I look at Lamar Jackson, I have no, I'm not questioning, of course, his intelligence by any stretch of the imagination, but I do think you look at him and you marvel at his 
athletic ability. I think you marvel at everything about Deshaun Watson. Yeah. So you I marvel can... at his athletic ability. You marvel at his throwing ability. And you marvel at his leadership ability and his intellect behind center. Those are the kind of things that I'm talking about right. when I say Deshaun yeah. Watson appears to be on a different level. Right. How do you feel about what I just said, Dominique? So, I mean, I can speak to that easily. Deshaun Watson is on a different level as a, a bunch of players in his athleticism and the way that he can read a defense. But Lamar Jackson was running NFL-style plays in college. Lamar Jackson does not make bad reads. Lamar Jackson is a very smart player. Where he has his shortcomings is with accuracy. So I don't think – I think Lamar Jackson can do the same things. He can break down coverages for reporters just as impressively as Deshaun Watson can. Mm -hmm. But his passes are not nearly as accurate consistently. That's where the difference is. And, and you said that Joe Montana had something special. The something special he had was the father of modern NFL offenses. Like Bill Walsh, every offense is, is a descendant of Bill Walsh's However, right now. Dominique, he also had the greatest receiver all time Dominique, and multiple so Hall of Steve Famers Young. on defense. So did Steve Young. And Steve, and Steve Young, Young was great, more, too. And Steve Young had more talent than Joe Montana. But Joe Montana went 4-0 in Super Bowls, 13 TDs, no interceptions. Like, he, there was something different. I know. The no one had Watson caught up to has, the offense that they were running. Well, That's Sean Watson important. has some, some magic stuff in him. And guys, like, Lamar Lamar Jackson is a very likable personality and everything, but Deshaun Watson's command as a leader, even to Stephen A's point right. about the way he explained the play, it wasn't to clown the reporter. He was, even in that situation, he had total command only and explained it and to everyone. And it was everyone. charismatic. He, yeah. Yes, he, ha he has okay, it. But at the Lamar end of the day, has all of that, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.